Hi there. We just got back from Chile where we shot some of the most amazing landscapes, plants, and even animals that I have ever seen. And I can't wait to share all the stuff we captured with you all. So just look out for that stuff in the coming weeks. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button because it'll be worth it for the coming videos. And so before we head into Chile, I wanted to do a small recap or a summary of the things we saw in Mexico, which were equally impressive. So I wanted to do a sort of a top five of my favorite plants that we've seen. And of course, if you think that I missed any plants, definitely put them in the comment section. It was not the easiest picking just five. We saw some amazing, amazing things from the smallest little cacti to the largest, most impressive. And so picking just five wasn't so easy, but I think I did a pretty good job. If you think I didn't, or if you think I missed any species, make sure you put it in the comment section so that next time we have to do so, uh, top five, I'll make sure to consider your suggestions. But without any further ado, let's get into the top five. Number five. Astichium reiterii. On our first trip down to the state of Nuevo León, we saw one of only three species that make up the genus Astichium, and what is probably the most remarkable form in the entire cactus world. If you haven't watched this episode, I highly recommend it, not only because the ecosystem is incredible, where these plants like to grow on vertical walls, as opposed to horizontally, you know, like normal cacti, but we also talk about how and why these plants evolved such an interesting and cool form. Number four, Ferrocactus steinesii pilosus. Back on the rocky cliffs in the state of Coahuila, we saw one of the most iconic cactus species in the entire Chihuahuan desert. These majestic redheads have quite an expansive range covering up to five states in the country of Mexico, and this particular mountain has some other really interesting cactus species that you'll see on this episode. I couldn't leave them out of this list, and I hope you enjoyed them as much as I did. Number three, Lophophora fritii. Coming up on the list, we have Lophophora williamsii's less appreciated cousin, and one that I'm always going on about because I honestly think these plants are much more attractive than Lophophora williamsii. But hey, that's a topic for another episode. For now, let's just enjoy this gorgeous mountain with hundreds and hundreds of plants blooming all at the same time. If you haven't watched this episode, again, you definitely should. Number two, Lophophora williamsii. So I know I said Lophophora fritii was more attractive than williamsii, but you know I had to show this crest some love. I mean, just look at it, it's gorgeous. Not only that, but on this episode, we found a lot of holes surrounding this plant, meaning some asshole cactus poachers have been around it. And I definitely want to expose that side of the hobby so that we all know not to contribute to the trafficking of poached cacti and succulents. Hey, I hope you're enjoying the top five. Just wanted to remind you that any purchases of plants, cactus t-shirts or soil you make on our website eastcoastcomantaca.com helps us make more videos just like this. Back to the top five. And finally, we arrive at the star of the show, number one, Astichium hintoniae. This wasn't just my personal favorite species to find in habitat, but the fact that we managed to capture it in bloom is sort of the icing on the cake, 
because we were lucky or unlucky enough to arrive at its ecosystem right when the blooms had finished closing. So we did what any sane cactus lover would have done and canceled all our plans for the following day to make sure to drive another three hours to see it again to hopefully catch them in bloom. And lo and behold, the effort paid off and we caught some of the most amazing footage we've been able to capture in any of our trips so far. I hope you can agree that this plant definitely deserved its place as number one in our list, and I'm sure it'll be a while before anything can top it. All right, guys, that was it for the top five. Did you agree with everything I chose? If not, let me know in the comment section. And if you haven't seen every single one of the videos in the first series, we're putting the links for you in the comment section. And as always, catch you in the next one.